talked about this for about two years. Seriously, for six months. Yes. Yeah. And um, we are in the basement without walls, without flooring, and without ceiling. Mm -hmm. So explain what all we're having done, and then tell us what all you've done in the first 30 days. So basically, we've come through here and demolished everything that was existing and trying to get the 70s out and, and bring in today. Um, relocate some walls and put some emphasis on the things that matter most to our customers today versus when the house was originally built. Yes. So, and updating all the, the key elements as far as your electrical, your mechanical, um, your plumbing, and get everything up to date in today's standards. We are in Alex City, so we are permitted and we are going through the building inspections process. And right now, we've, we've basically been able to get all the way to the framing rough end stage and inspector will be here in the morning and uh, we'll, we'll get our, hopefully our, uh, some passing stuff there. <laughs> yes. One thing that I loved uh, when talking with Will about this is he's a friend and he knows how we use our house. And he kept convincing us, which was not easy to do, that we were not using most of our house. We had a second kitchen downstairs. Um, we had like an old storage unit, I mean storage room. Mm -hmm. We had the tiniest laundry room you've ever seen, but with mountains of laundry every week. And, um, you know, you really saw it in your head how we could use this and how we would really be happy growing into our next phase with the boys. Well, you know, it, you had a 2,500 square foot house that you were using about 1,300 square feet of. and did everything you could possibly do not to come down here. <laughs> yes. That's pretty much how it worked. It, it yeah. just didn't have that good feeling that the whole rest of the upstairs already had from our remodel a couple years ago. Right. And it, it was time to, to utilize your entire house and, and get what you already had in really good condition and something you could be proud of and be happy using versus adding on extra things that you don't need and trying to overlook the things that you already had. Yes, he kept saying, um, <laughs> I want you to have something that you're proud of, that you're proud of. And we are proud of it, but I know what you mean. Um, we have eliminated the full uh, kitchen in the basement, and we are now going to make a Jack and Jill um, mm -hmm. bedroom for the boys. And yep. give them, we've added them a full bath instead of a half bath. So instead of, though, eliminating a kitchen altogether in the basement, you came up with this great idea for sort of a galley kitchenette. It's football room. Mm -hmm. It's the, the family sit down where you're going to watch the TV, Yes. you know, the beer fridge, the, the bar sink and things along those lines. A good place to mix popcorn, sit down and watch a movie. Yes. Still have the view of the lake, um, but be able to be a little bit more casual than, you, you know, your formal living room upstairs where you, you bring the grandparents. Well, I feel the advantage and we appreciate every day yeah. of it.